Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of Universe Jarvis. So, this is something I actually haven't done in quite a while. One of my little hauls from shopping last weekend went to Atlanta and stopped at the Commerce Outlets on the way back and got some great and amazing things. Because one thing that I'm planning on doing is I'm going to start doing like fits, like have a mannequin. I don't think I've ever really done any videos with it, but putting outfits together, kind of got letting you guys see my style. But this is going to kind of be the precursor to all of that. So let's jump in, start going through some of these bags, and I'll show you some of the pieces that I was able to get at those outlets for great prices. And like I said, if you're ever going to Atlanta on your way to it or from it, I think it's in Commerce, Georgia. It's a Tanger outlet, but they've had some great sales because this is the time of the year that you can go and buy things that are winter because they're technically out of season, to transitioning to spring. So you can get a lot of nice stuff for relatively cheap. So I guess let's start with here, Banana Republic. So I went in there, you know, just, <coughs> excuse me, to kind of check out and see what they had. I'm a clearance shopper, so I always tend to go to the clearance section. I very rarely will buy anything full price, and even then, if it's regular price, I'm looking for a coupon to use. So, figured it was time to do a little refresh. So, I found these. These are the Banana Republic Grace and Slim Taper Fit. Kind of got a nice little check. Actually, no, this is probably a, this is a hound suit pattern. I'll get in a little bit closer here. It's probably hard to see. You can kind of see the texture on them, but they're just a slim fit, and they're nice. It's just a nice dressier chino, if you will. I guess you would call this a slack. This can go with a nice solid. So these, and I think these were probably about $30. Let's see here. Yeah, so it says $49.99 on the tag. They're originally $100. I believe they're around $30 because they were doing an extra 30% off. It's got that pair. These I was super excited about. I cannot wear them right now because it is way too hot for these. But this is a wool blend trouser which these are awesome. So they've kind of got that style that's been kind of popular, a nice pleat. It's not a severe pleat, as I would call it, so you're not going to be puffing out in the front. And then they're also cuffed down there at the bottom. The other cool thing about these, because they're considered kind of a dress-like, they're actually lined on the ends side here, so that's going to help keep you a little bit warm in the wintertime. Can't wait to wear these, but like I said, they're a winter weight, and they are heavy. I'm assuming they may have had a blaze or something with these, so this is kind of a light camel. And I've got the same pant here. And these were, let's see, what's the price? Oh, they got that sticker covered up. I'll get another pair up. So, same pant, but in a gray. I said a nice wool. And like I said, these are heavy. They have all these tags covered up. These, it says $69.99. These are probably about $130, I'm assuming. But that tends to be the Banana Republic kind of standard price. But like I said, a nice wool pant. And I got all three pairs of these. I think they were about $91 with tax. Definitely can't beat that. That would be a fantastic deal. Alright, so we got Banana Republic. Let's see. And they also have a Ranger outlet out there. So I was kind of wanting some of those Ranger jeans that a lot of the guys are wearing, but I've kind of come to the conclusion that those jeans are not for me. And I need to just give up that ghost because they fit very strangely, at least on me. As you know, you'll see some guys that look really good on them, but yeah, not for me. So all I did when I went in there, the Wrangler store, I got this little short sleeve western shirt. It's denim. So that was kind of cool. This is actually for the Yellowstone um, show that was, I can't remember what channel, but it even has on the back there Yellowstone. But I mean, it's just a nice, you can wear this western shirt open, you can button it up. But it's a short sleeve, so I figured this was nice for the summer. It's still denim, so it's kind of thick, so it will definitely still probably be kind of hot. But I thought it was kind of cool looking, and it's different. And then same thing, they had a little denim vest that's also Yellowstone. You see the logo there on the back. And it's even got some embroidery right there, but cool. Both of these were actually $15 a piece, so both of those pieces were like 30 bucks. And I don't know if they do like a original price or whatever because it's an outlet so I mean I'm sure if this was retail price it would have probably been maybe 50 bucks or something like that. Get me Crocs store. You guys probably know I'm a Crocs fanatic so I got some Croc socks. They're great. These are the crew ones. We got what black here, you got a tan and kind of like a gray speckle situation. They're phenomenal socks. These were buy one get one I think free actually. 
So both pairs of these were 20 bucks, so like $21. Great buy, because they retail, I guess they retail for 20 for just three pairs, so you definitely can't beat that. Now this was actually in Atlanta here. I think I was in the Avalon Shopping Center. Actually, I think that's an Alpharetta. But it's just wandering around and I saw these really nice salmon, I guess you can call it, chinos. These are gonna be great for the spring to wear to work with some nice bright vibrant pieces so they're a slim fit. And J. Crew pants are really nice. I actually had a lot of them at one point that I would wear to work, but I will caution you about these they will shrink if you dry them. So if you're gonna dry them, I would probably dry them on low because most of mine went from being my waist size to probably two sizes down. But they're a really good, nice tapered pant. Let's see, what's this? I'm trying to remember. So this was out of the Free People. Yep, this is Free People. And they give you this cute little bag. It's actually, I guess you can call it a more of a women's boho store, but I went in there and saw, found some rings. So they give you nice little cute stuff to put your rings and stuff in. I think that's pretty awesome. I actually got more of these rings, and I'll kind of try to show them to you guys as we go. But they're three for 30, and some of them are kind of cool. Like, that's a little cross ring. The sizes are generally seven to eight. That's another nice one. It's probably kind of hard to see. So these I've been using as pinky rings. This one will probably be a pinky ring too. I did find some stuff to put on them to size them up a little bit better because they do slide around. It's this little plastic spiral thing that you can put on it to make it uh, a little bit snugger in the back. But I think it's kind of cool that they give you like this reusable little cloth bag. <laughs> I mean, by no means, it's kind of a mesh. I probably wouldn't like put anything crazy in it, but I mean, it's just a nice touch. But then again, you're going in those stores, it's about an experience. Cause like I said, that's a little boho store. And it's for women, but you can find some little costume jewelry, I guess. What do you call it? Costume jewelry? But like some little cool jewelry pieces. So I would definitely check it out. Let's see here. A lot of stuff down in here. And then, uh, so this is another shirt. This actually came from, uh, I cannot think of the name of the store. Anthropology, I think. So a nice little two-tone, short high. Probably hard to see, but this one is it's shorter in the front. You can kind of see down here, longer in the back. So it'll kind of give you almost like a kind of cape feel, and it's pretty cool because it's a color block, light blue on this side, dark blue or navy on the other side. So it's kind of a nice, fun little little thing that's got going on. Let's see here. So this is my H&M bag that's full of stuff in other stores. Come on, Toga P. Up next. Oops. H&M. I actually got this reusable bag from there. It's like three bucks. <clears throat> I kind of have a tote problem, so I really didn't need it, but kind of liked it, so. And I figured it's more um, environmental. So this is just a cool little, it's a, you know, it's a neutral color. It's a nice flat tan, if you will, or light khaki. And this is just a jacket. You know, you can put it on, you can layer with it. I mean, it could be good to work out. It's fleece on the inside, but it's a little oversized, which I tend to like. H&M is really good for pieces like that. You can tend to find a lot of kind of oversized baggy stuff. They call this, this is a uh, relaxed fit here, but nice and comfy, I love it. And this is neutral, so it'll work with a lot of stuff. And I could wear this like with athletic gear, like I said, I could wear it to work as a layer. Let's see, these I also got. Now that jacket was actually $16.99 clearance. And then here are some pants that are about the same color. They're a slim fit. And these are $12.99. Now I like these, they fit really well. The only thing, and you probably can't see, the light shine on me, but these are kind of a little see-through, which I'm a little concerned about, but I think it'll be fine. They actually look pretty nice on. Just have to make sure whatever layers up under them kind of will blend. 
hot stand. I love this bag. I'll probably take this out with me today while I'm rambling about. Let's see these. This style is also really in. <clears throat> this is kind of a utility pant. It's got like the double knee here. These are you know, these are actually for workers that would do like, you know, I guess carpentry and stuff, so it had like a double knee so the knee wouldn't wear out if they're bending down and stuff. And you've also got kind of the cargo situation or the carpenter thing going on the back. You know, the little loop there for a hammer, you know, some pockets. So really nice. These were actually, I think like 15 bucks. I ended up having to get the darker khaki. They didn't have the, um, they had like a black and kind of a brown. This didn't have them in my size. But either way, nice piece. So, this is another shirt. So I got this off of Urban Outfitters. This is actually part of an entire outfit. And it's just, um, it's Al True and it has human, you know, stitched there on the front. I'm gonna actually put together a nice fit with this. So I'll actually, you know, I'll so open it up so you can see it a little bit better. You see, it says human and it's stitched. Really simple, but I thought it was kind of cool. And I sized it up, I got it in an extra large because I figured it may shrink. And also I, with this look, or this fit, I kind of want to give that baggy look all around. So the pants that I have to pair with that, they're baggy. Then you've got that. So it'll kind of be cohesive all the way front and back. Let's see. Actually, be right back. I'm going to go grab the pants to go with that. So this is the pant that I got from there. These are also from Urban Outfitters. They're the BDG. I think that's their in-house brand. But these are kind of busy. They're funky. You know, you kind of got utilitarian stuff going on with those pockets. Zippers, pocket. They're kind of loud. They're a little noisy, which I didn't really think about when I got them. But I wore them the other day, and they're actually pretty cool. So these are kind of like a, kind of a sage green, I guess you would call it. But I figured that would kind of look nice together. Definitely make a statement. And then there's a really cool jacket that I'll layer over this too. <laughs> so finally, went in Simply Southern, which I, I've never really shopped there before. To me, it's kind of, I guess, a, I don't want to say off-brand, but it's a mimic of, I guess, Vineyard Vines, but it's a little bit more Southern, I guess, less bougie, still about the same if you ask me. So happened to be walking past there and they had a bunch of, um, you know, racks outside. Stuff was really cheap. Some of it was women, so I actually got a few pieces for, for other people. But I was checking out and I saw they had men's stuff sitting in the corner. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Lost my mind. Look at this. Nice little polo. It's kind of got that stretchy fabric with their, lo with their little dog logo on there. These were, this was only $9.99. It's incredible. And here's another one. This is kind of like that golf fit. A nice gin gingham. You got some, some, you know, some palm trees on there. Same thing, $9.99. And these, let's see. Not really sure what these retail for. These are probably like $50 shirts. This has got the two polos. Then we had some long sleeve polos. This is kind of a nod to Christmas. You see the little logo right there. Same thing. These bad boys were, let's see, I think these are the $5.99, yeah. So these are $5.99. Crazy. $5.99 for this. Here's another one. Well, I call this, a, I guess this is more akin to a rugby shirt. $5.99. Can't beat it. It's crazy. And I've gotten to where I like a rugby, so nice burgundy. Like these are all nice, basic colors. They'll go with a lot of my work stuff, so I was super excited about that. And then, I actually just realized these match. You know, summertime, I like a nice patterned shirt. I like something with some texture. Look at this. A nice, you know, it's a woven, um, a nice woven uh, button up, button up Oxford. $9.99 for this. Look at that. Nice and vibrant. There we go. That's that same pattern that I showed you in the polo. I actually didn't realize these were the same. I was just so excited seeing them. This has got a button-down collar. Actually, they both do. 
And then we've got a nice... It's got flamingos on it. $9.99. Not bad at all. Like I said, I, I had to get these. I could not leave these. Considering that brand and how much these would normally cost, it was definitely worth it. So, <coughs> excuse me. I've been doing a lot of work in my closet trying to get stuff situated. It's kind of gotten cooler here, so I'm going to have to do some flip-flopping and changing stuff around. But, in saying all that, you guys are going to get some great content. I'm going to start, you know, like I said, putting these outfits together so you guys can kind of see my style. Those are mostly going to be for work. Some of the other stuff is going to be more casual, just kind of hanging out, round and about and stuff like that. So, you guys will get to see how I dress, I guess. I'm going to figure out how to do that and show them on the mannequin on me, but we'll get there. Anyhow. Thanks for tuning in this video. If you haven't done bef done it before, hit that subscribe button below, comment, like. More content coming all the time, you know, figuring out new things, new ideas. Until next time, Universe Jarvis out.